In this video, we'll show Salesforce admins why and how to integrate Gmail with Salesforce, and how Salesforce Inbox extends those benefits even further. First, let's compare the two different integration options we'll cover in this video. This table shows the core productivity features available with basic Salesforce email integration, and how Salesforce Inbox expands on those capabilities. All Salesforce customers have access to the basic email integration that lets reps see CRM data and manually capture emails, appointments and deals to Salesforce, all without leaving their inbox. Salesforce Inbox takes it further, with the ability to track email opens, schedule sends and more. With Inbox's connection to your Google Calendar, you can even insert your meeting availability into emails. Salesforce Inbox is available with a variety of additions and licenses and is only available in the Salesforce Lightning interface. Connect with your account team if you have questions about your license or addition. If you already use Gmail, Google Calendar and Salesforce, maximize your productivity and efficiency by using them together. When you integrate Gmail with Salesforce, it's so easy to track important email conversations relevant to Salesforce records. You also save time on data entry without switching between apps. The two integrations we'll review today give you a quick, easy way to boost sales productivity and efficiency, improve data accuracy, enhance deal status visibility, and eliminate duplicate entry of critical emails and other data. These perks help your team focus on what matters most, sales. First, we'll talk through the steps for Salesforce admins to set up and use basic Gmail integration. Then we'll go further to set up and use Salesforce Inbox. Before you link Gmail and Salesforce, review the features and requirements. See requirement details in this help article. Your company must use Google Workspace with a unique email domain, not one that ends in at gmail.com. Your browser needs to be Chrome 97 or later, with third-party cookies allowed. There isn't currently a connector for Safari, Firefox or other browser types. Now let's walk through the technical setup steps together. First, confirm enhanced email is enabled for your reps, so they can relate emails to relevant Salesforce records quickly and easily. In a Chrome web browser, log in to Salesforce. In Salesforce, select the setup icon in the top right navigation. From setup, enter enhanced email in the quick find box, then select enhanced email. Click enable. It may already be on by default. Update the email message page layout. Add the related to field. Then, your users can see which records are related to an email. Remove the parent case field from the email message page layout. This field is generally blank unless you use email to case and an email is associated with a case. Now, we're ready to integrate Gmail with Salesforce. In the setup menu, type Gmail in the quick find box. Select Gmail integration and sync. Enable Gmail integration by sliding the toggle switch to the on position. This should always stay toggled on so that when you log in to Gmail, you save time by simultaneously logging in to Salesforce. Next, download the Salesforce extension. Click the Learn More link in this same setup page to open the Salesforce extension in the Chrome Web Store. Select Add to Chrome. Then select Add Extension. To pin the extension for easy access, select your extension icon and then select the push pin icon. From your newly pinned Salesforce extension icon, click on it and your Gmail inbox opens with a new Salesforce email app pane on the right. Click the blue button to log into Salesforce and follow the instructions to link Salesforce with your inbox. Now, your Gmail and Salesforce accounts are linked. You can create new events, tasks, opportunities, cases, leads and campaigns right from your Gmail inbox. Let's see how to use this basic Gmail integration. We can associate emails to Salesforce records 
either manually or with the help of Einstein Activity Capture. Click the Log Email button to associate an email to a Salesforce record. To create records, click the plus icon to access your global actions. To view related records, open the Related tab. To access Salesforce tasks, open the Tasks tab. To create emails using Salesforce templates, click the Templates component to access any email templates that you've created or shared in Salesforce. Now that we've seen how to set up and use basic Gmail integration with Salesforce, let's look at how Salesforce Inbox gives sales reps even more productivity tools, like calendar integration for easy meeting scheduling. To set up Inbox, first complete the basic integration steps we already covered. Then select Permission Sets. From Setup, find and select Permission Sets in the Quick Find menu. Click the letter I, then select one of the standard permission sets for Inbox. You'll see different permission sets depending on your licensure. Click on a permission set name to see its description. Choose one, select Manage Assignments and assign the permission set to users. Now that we've installed Inbox, let's configure and customize the email application pane. Your display field allows you to change the list of display fields. You can also use compact layouts in the Object Manager, assign different fields by record types. Note, only the first three fields are displayed in the application pane. When you drill down into the record, the associated page layout is used to display the details. Let's explore four key features of Inbox that aren't available with basic Gmail integration. The Availability tool is one of the most popular Inbox features. It lets users insert their availability options in emails. Users navigate to Meeting Settings and specify their availability to meet with customers. To add a scheduling link to their emails, users select the days of the week they work, as well as their working hours. Additionally, toward the bottom of the screen, Users select the length of their time blocks, time in between meetings, and other details related to these meetings. Customers can then use that scheduling link to see the next three available times. Recipients only see still available meeting slots, and can click on the options to book a time. Use global actions to create new contacts or opportunities directly from your email, and assign different actions based on profiles. Support agents can create new cases, while sales can create new opportunities. Global Actions also let users set up and assign actions through Setup and Gmail integration. Use Application Pane Layouts to customise the objects displayed in the Application Pane, create new panes for different profiles, and assign layouts by profile using the App Builder in Setup. When reading an email, use Log Email to relate it to specific people records in Salesforce. Send Later lets you schedule emails for a specific send time. Create shortcuts for frequently used phrases to save time and ensure consistency. Insert the text without typing it by selecting the corresponding shortcut while composing an email. Now that you have a good idea of Salesforce Inbox and its key features, Make a plan to roll these features out to your sales reps and ensure they're trained and ready to save time and boost productivity with Salesforce and Gmail. There are a few best practices you should follow to ensure your rollout of the Outlook integration and Salesforce inbox goes smoothly. Best practice number one, test. Identify pilot groups made up of Salesforce power users team leads, and executive sponsors who will test features and processes, act as a champion for the tool, and report back with their findings. Consider creating a Slack channel to share user feedback and drive adoption. Best practice number two, train. Conduct hands-on trainings in pilot users' own environments using real-life, relevant workflow examples. Then, encourage users to explore the Salesforce, 
Gmail and Google Calendar integration module on Trailhead to learn even more. You can even gamify your trainings and reward active users with company swag or recognition in Slack. Best practice number three, talk. Send an email to announce the adoption of the Gmail integration and Salesforce inbox and to provide setup guidance. Then, keep the lines of communication open by sending pre-training reminder emails and sharing post-training resources. Good luck as you integrate Gmail with Salesforce to improve productivity and efficiency. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.